Hey guys, it's Kat over here. Uh, I just want to um, post this video regarding what I posted earlier about Jeffree Star and my recent decision to distance myself, actually to disassociate myself completely from him and his makeup line altogether. And I think that it comes off very harsh and I can understand why there would be a reaction not just from my own fans but from Jeffree's fans as well. And in no way is this video or my, my post uh, meant to bash anybody. Uh, I'm just simply stating the, the truth. I'm stating the facts and I think it's important for, for me that my fans and followers know where I stand with this because uh, the way that Jeffrey chooses to live his life and treat other people is not something that I personally agree with. So, you know, being associated with somebody who does do the things that he does, it really makes me nervous because I don't want my fans or followers to think that that's a good example of how we should be with each other and how we should treat, you know, our, our the people who, who are uh, in our lives or surrounding us. And um, I've been first-hand witness to a lot of things, which I know you guys already know. I mean, um, just the way he treats not only his fans, but just uh, brands and I think anybody that even intimidates him slightly, it's like a very easy trigger for him to just attack. Uh, I remember, you know, seeing him go off on this rant and really commanding his followers to start attacking this other really much smaller brand who made lip glosses, not even lipsticks, because of some human error in label labeling. You know, I remember, I think like the brand had accidentally labeled something with Carmine and they had claimed to be vegan. And he just went off on this brand uh, you know, how the injustice of that human error that was completely forgivable. And I remember thinking, wait, you're not even fucking vegan. I mean, I know you're, you're, you, you like to put that word onto your packaging so that you can, like, bring in the vegan bucks, but, like, you totally eat animal products. And not, not only that, but you, like, promote MAC and, like, tons of other L'Oreal, like, all of the biggest makeup lines that, like, actually test on animals are, like, famous for being non-cruelty free so why would you sit there and not just verbally attack but just like bully a, a brand that isn't even shouldn't even be on your radar um, I never really understood that but anyways um, I'd like to I'd like to rewind to um, a very important detail of all of this is that if you ask Jeffrey how he made his makeup line I'm sure the story will be something about how he's so self-created and all this stuff uh, which I think is kind of maybe how he wishes his, you know, his approach to makeup was. But in reality, I can tell you how he started his makeup line. I can tell you because I was there and it started in my living room at my house. And uh, back when Jeffrey was, um, you know, I don't know, I think he was kind of not doing anything. And uh, he came over and was hanging out. He wasn't doing anything as far as career-wise. And... Um, you know, he's kind of complaining or whining about some other brand that was doing really well at the time. And I just told him, man, like, you know, I've always been the person who said, hey, why don't you have your own makeup line? You know, I think uh, you're, you know, I think Jeffrey was creative. I think he's different. And I think he has his own style and aesthetic. And, um, and I always romanticized, you know, this aspect of Jeffrey that I don't even know it actually exists or not. But just like the fact that he was this outsider, you know, that he was different and, you know, giving like, his followers like a sense of belonging in a world where you know they might not I don't know where, where people tend to reject something that's so different and I've always thought that, that was like something that he he stro he would strive for but I, I don't necessarily think that that's the case anymore um, so anyways I think that was a big part of why I was wanting to help him out so much back then but I went to such great lengths I even hooked him up with a factory that was actually producing um, my Everlasting Liquid Lipstick formula, plus uh, a lot of my eyeshadows at the time. And Judy was the name of the, the lady that was, you know, the head honcho over there. And I basically got Jeffrey a meeting over there and uh, to see if he could start his own makeup line. And, you know, even Judy told me uh, after meeting with Jeffrey, you know, the only reason he even got that meeting was because I vouched for him. And there's been, you know, more times where I have vouched for Jeffrey and in hopes that he would like you know do the right thing and you know um, and in some cases it hasn't really worked out that way and so I'm not looking for credit you know I don't need him to like you know give me a shout out every time he posts on Instagram but like at least tell the truth you know and 
just because I called you out on social media about being a bully doesn't mean, you know, that you, when you, that you can post a tweet that says, hey, you know, you, Kat Von D has never supported me in my, my makeup line when, honestly, Jeffrey, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be where you are now. I mean, as far as your makeup line goes. And I think, I mean, maybe you would do it some other way, but you definitely wouldn't do it at the capacity that you have been. And, um, and I think that's important to, to, to understand because I think it's very easy to paint somebody with, uh, you know, his pathological ways. And I think him, you know, he tends to exaggerate a lot of things and uh, borderline lie about a lot of things. And that's something that I've like learned over the years, uh, spending a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with him. So the reason that I bring this up is because uh, when I was helping him out with the creative process of making his own makeup line, um, there was a, a point that we reached where uh, I told him, hey, look, I, I can help you with mood boards, which I did. I just can't do your artwork for you. You know, it's something that I keep really exclusive to my makeup line. You know, I think my own team would be very disappointed if I started drawing for somebody else's makeup line. So I said, hey, look, I'm not going to draw the artwork for your makeup line, but I have a guy who's really great and I've used him for tons of projects. I mean, he is like a lettering and logo specialist and uh, and he's a, a really hardworking dude uh, from Detroit. His name is BJ Betts. And so, um, you know, if you guys look at any of my old videos, like my Muse of the Week or my Cat's Beauty Chat, like all that lettering BJ did, and if you scroll down in the credits, you'll see his name, and I always credit him for, for the artwork and the lettering for all the openings for that. And that's because it's important. I think as an artist, you know, we work super hard at creating something, and it really sucks when somebody just, like, steals that and then just exploits it and doesn't give you any credit, let alone payment. And so what happened is that I introduced Jeffrey to BJ, and then BJ drew up his logos, and then Jeffrey went forward with them, and it's the logos that you guys see now on all of the caps of all of his lipsticks, and then never, never paid BJ. And BJ would call him, and basically Jeffrey blocked his phone, and then so finally BJ called from a landline, and Jeffrey answered, and then when he realized that it was BJ asking for payment, he hung up on him, and blocked that number and that's just what he does. So the minute that I found out about that, which was this last Saturday, I texted Jeffrey and said, hey Jeffrey, can you explain to me why you haven't paid BJ? And he basically told me to fuck off and, or to go fuck myself, and and then blocked my number and that's just how he does it. And then you know, he blocks me on Instagram and blocks me on Twitter, so like as if I even followed him anyway, just cause, I'm sorry, I just, I know a lot of people love to follow him. For, for me, like it's obnoxious to like constantly promote like what, fancy car you're leasing or renting or whatever the fuck, you know, I just think, you know, trying to promote this lifestyle that, like, you know, your value is determined by, you know, the brand of the purse that you wear, or the, you know, the, how big your house is or how many cars you drive. I mean, you know, again, that's something that I don't want to be in the same sentence with. I've, I've gone my entire existence really trying to send such an opposite message, so why would I want to be associated with that? So anyways, um, I have here um, this drawing to show you what VJ had originally drawn for Jeffrey. I mean, he drew him a bunch of logos. Hopefully you guys can see from my phone. But like, you can see like different variations of the star. And then like if you um, like zoom in on this one in particular, where you see it was a J and then an S, and then you see this little circular thing around this side here. These, this was the preliminary sketch for the logo that Jeffrey uses now. And uh, as you could tell, it was a J and an S before. And um, BJ had said, uh, this is what BJ wrote, you know, Jeffrey stressed that he wanted to have a Gucci or Chanel feel. Um, so I told him that we could flip the S and possibly also mirror the J. I circled the bottom part to show him what I meant, if you zoom in. So that's what he did. He didn't need me anymore after that. He had the artwork already. And uh, that's when he just stopped calling him and uh, obviously refused to pay him. So, uh, you know, I think as, as, part, as far as being like an ethical company, uh, it's really wrong what Jeffrey's done. I think he needs to pay BJ. And um, I think that that's the kind of behavior done by corporations that are heartless, you know, that I see that happening all the time. I know it's happened to me, you know, where it's like that, you know, people who aren't interested in you as an artist or interested in you as a dollar sign or just what, how, how much they can take advantage of you. And that's not, that's not cool, man. I think, uh, you know, 
you can't sit there and post all these videos of you like get ready with me and my Rolls Royce and then you can't like pay a guy who worked really hard for you. I mean, what kind of message does that send out to, to anybody and everybody? I think it's the wrong message and I think as long as uh, you know you have the option to do the right thing, why not do that? Um, so you know that, that I think that was definitely a big line in the sand that Jeffrey drew with me. You know I think uh, instead of just blocking me, you could have just talked it out and uh, you know people are like, why didn't you tag him in your in your photo that you posted, it's like, yeah, I'm not gonna, why, I, I, of course I would have tagged him, but, but when somebody blocks you, you can't do that, you know, and I think that a lot of people also were offended by the photo that I chose, you know what, like, that was the photo that was taken of Jeffrey when I knew him, that was, like, the Jeffrey that I knew, you know, I, the Jeffrey that he is now is, like, this monster, this big, like, attention-seeking, fame-desiring, money-driven monster that I want no part in, and, uh, it's not to say that he doesn't have the opportunity to change. I think that everybody does. I mean, I'm a good example of that, I think. You know, I didn't used to be as a... Uh, I didn't have my shit together as much as I have now, but I think that takes time and practice. But, you know, you got to practice that stuff. you got to unlearn the bad stuff. So, I don't know. I think uh, the, the online bullying, you know, like, it's easy to, you know... You can go ahead and uh, pick on all these other people that might be intimidated and won't say anything back. But, Jeffrey, I'm not scared of you. And also, like, if somebody was you know, picking on you the way that, that you pick on people, I would stand up for, for you too. And so, um, all I, I kindly ask you, Jeffrey, which I'm sure you'll watch this because you love uh, when anybody talks about you, um, all I ask is that you do the right thing. And just pay, pay BJ. I mean, that's like, you know, that's the least that you could do after all of this. And as far as uh, the message that I would like to send out to my, my fans and my followers, other beauty brands, uh, YouTubers, or anyone else that has had to experience any of the insensitivity and the negativity that Jeffrey has spewed your way, I just want to apologize because if I do regret anything, is I, re I regret uh, setting Jeffrey up with, with that factory. Um, I regret being a part of helping somebody become so self-absorbed um, when I could have probably, you know, at least spoke up a lot sooner. and. Um, you know, and I, I do send Jeffrey a lot of love. I hope that one day he can figure it out and I'll be here uh, if ever he wants to make amends with me, but definitely not holding my breath on that one. So, yeah, um, lastly, I just want to say to any of my fans and my followers, um, I don't want anybody to go after Jeffrey. I don't want anybody to go and attack or start wars. I, I really don't have the time, nor do I care to, to start a war like that. Um, you know, if, if Jeffrey wants to go on a crazy Snapchat, uh, you know, tweaker-like uh, rant on Snapchat about me or about whatever he thinks about me, so be it. I don't need to hear about it. I don't care. Um, hopefully that, that doesn't happen. And uh, and yeah, and I think if anything, uh, we can just like send positive vibes his way and hopefully you know, he can make some changes in his life that he's not just continuously hurting people around him. And again, I am so deeply sorry to anybody and everybody out there that's uh, been in his crossfire, um, you know, I know it's not a fun place to be, and, uh, overall, I guess, I guess that's it, um, just want to send everybody extra, extra, extra love today, I think there's tons of more important things out there that we should be worrying about, um, and that's it, all right, bye guys. Hey everyone, I am in a tour bus right now, on the way to Cleveland, we are joining work tour tomorrow, so excited. I will be filming the truth and my response later tonight when I get to a hotel with Wi-Fi. Right now there is no service on this bus and I can't upload. So I woke up to a video that Kat posted this morning full of some really interesting lies and some propaganda. But, but I would like to say one thing now. There are always two sides to every story. So if you want to believe her, that's fine. But the truth is going to come out. I know people are expecting me to pop off and be crazy. It's like, I don't, that's not how I react when something's not true because I have nothing to be angry about. So later tonight, I will be addressing her false allegations, the logo drama, which is already squashed, and everything else that she liked.